This is my buddy Brad. And this would be his SKS. Move out of the way, sucker. There. He bought a shitload of uh, upgrades for this thing. And uh, we're going to put them on and show you guys what we're doing. Okay, so. What would you like to introduce as what parts are what? Parts? Yeah. That's your big ass muzzle brake? Yeah, the muzzle brake. We're going to have to show it. What? Show it. Give me that. Give me. We're going to have to do this. That. Yeah, let me get it out of the bag. Is it all greasy right now? Oh, okay. ah, shit. All right. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay. Can you grab me the right paper right towel? I don't want to get my hands greasy. I'm like... So that is the muzzle brake. It's 762 cal. So, I don't know, it's going to reduce recoil and a bunch of other stuff. Thanks, David. Like <laughs> I don't really know too much. Well, actually, I do know. I'll act stupid for entertainment purposes. All right, that is the shell deflector. That's his excuse. Gotta make sure it's in frame. There you go. So that's the shell deflector, and we'll make sure that, because uh, the SKS, it shoots its shells straight up instead of off to the side. So that'll make sure it doesn't hit the optics and throw it off zero. It's sticky. That's made by what, Tapco? Tapco, yeah. Yeah, Tapco. The, um... What did we just show before that? Muzzle brake? Muzzle brake, who's that by? Um, NC Star. NC Star makes muzzle brake? Okay. Yeah. Um, this is the bipod, and that goes on the bayonet lug. So you remove your bayonet, and you got your bipod for the thing. That's by NC Star, if you didn't get to see on the box and that. Uh, nah, forget prices. Just give them 20 a bucks. 20 bucks around this. Muzzle brake is 20. And the scope shield is 60. You're probably going to want to speak up. Anyway. Yeah. 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 This is uh, part of the Tapco Interfuse SKS stock. Made out of plastic. It's fairly light. Uh, we're going to be putting this on the gun too. And one, the longest part is probably going to be this top thing that goes on the gas chamber. And it is a royal bitch, I hear, to put on. So that's going to be fun. Look at this tri rail mount. And then you got the tri rail mount to uh, put your optics on. And uh, let's hope it holds zero. Yeah, we've read that it doesn't really hold zero too much, or too well, but uh, he got a little recoil buffer, so that should help, and just screwed it down really tight should also help. So how much did it cost you for all this stuff, roughly? Well, without the scope, I'm not going to count that. It was $230, try rail mount. Fancy. Now you got your three rails, and self-explanatory. Yeah. You can put, like, a laser on one side, and... You know, yeah. Okay, let's get this shit going because we're at two minutes. <laughs> no. I only got ten minute segments. Yeah. Tractable butt sock, M4 style for the um, SKS. So, you can adjust your length of pull. Also made it a polymer. Polymer feels pretty good, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. At the range test. It's light up. Yeah, the buffer's upstairs. <laughs> Go buffer, bitch. Run. <laughs> <laughs> How unprofessional me. Alright. Let's move this stuff out of the way. So what are we putting on first? Um, not stock. Because we're gonna have to have the what? Stock? I guess the stock first. Alright, so let me Let's see if I can off. move this tripod in a bit closer. Did you have all this set up? So what are you doing first? Bipod? Yeah, I'm well I'm gonna take the bayonet off. Easier to work with. Sorry for the shaky camera folks. I got a shitty tripod. Alright, so we're moving the bayonet. And there's probably going to be a spring in there, maybe, I don't know, so watch out. That's a good point. Now, this doesn't look like, oh, oh yes, the bipod is an adjustable length, which is nice to have. Um, it doesn't have rubber feet, and, no, it's not going to swing back with you, like, you, it's not going to take the recoil, as far as I know. We'll see when we take it to the range, but, uh, yeah, this just goes on the bayonet, lugs in, and acts just like the bayonet, so I think it's a good buy. So, I'm going to put that on first, then what next? Sock? Just out. Oh, thanks, for a bit. Here you go. Perfect. Oh, actually, do you want me to put that in there? In here? It goes in here, right? Eh? Hmm? Oh, alright. Right, let's it's get this difficult. stuff out of the way. I hope this turns out alright. If, if it's going to be like too quiet, oh, I'm going to be pissed. You can always boost the volume. Yeah, but there's always some stuff you can't do. So this, here, sorry. I don't know how to get this recoil button. Just took this off. What you have to do is pull out this pin here. 
and it pops out. This is the receiver cover. Yeah, receiver cover. Dated 1950 Russian. I don't know, or I don't remember what uh, arsenal that is that made it, but it's a nice gun, that's for sure. I'm gonna need to on it also. Where's the uh, receiver cover to try my own mount? <sighs> Putting the recoil uh, buffer. So, let me see. It's a pain in the ass. See? Give me a second. Let me get it in. This. I can get it. It's probably going to be better if I take it off the tripod. It'll make it easier for me to go around there and film it. Alright, so what he's doing is he's sticking that little plastic piece in there. Here, let me just show you. Like that. And that'll take the recoil spring and help eliminate some of the recoil. And the reason we got this, I don't think it's because he's a pussy. Am I right? No. no. It's because it'll help keep this thing um, from moving around and getting the scope off zero. So that's the purpose. And how much was that little piece of plastic? Five bucks. What a rip. Yeah. All right. So right now he is putting on or taking out the bayonet cell. Still trying. Still trying. You can do it, buddy. Right, it's just stuck. Ready? There we go. Oh, yeah. Off. Remember, this is Arsenal refinished, so I mean, some of the stuff's gonna be all seized up, even though we did oil it and do all the fancy I'll shit never that you have this to do. Thing off yeah, we never loosened some of the screws, so it may take a little while. Oh, six minutes already. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be in multiple parts if you haven't guessed. Um, I'll try and do it as quick as we can. We'll probably crap of me taking out the edit screw. stuff out and yeah, yeah. Especially taking out this. Well, I don't know. It's pretty entertaining so far. Well, to me, anyway. Some oh, people are going to be like, what the hell are you doing, bud? This is bullshit, but... <laughs> you okay, keep, it's supposed to just keep going, keep going. Focus. There we go. Do you have an electric drill? An electric drill? Yes. We're going to... Let me see. I think it's in one of those boxes there. Um, this <laughs> one? Uh, I don't think so. Are you sure you don't? Yeah. Do you want me to start taking Whoa. this? <laughs> yeah. And you said you didn't have drill bits. I didn't know that was there, okay? Here. You said you didn't have drill bits. That, yeah, I didn't know. My bad. See those boxes? Right there? Right there. No, turn around. Right I wasn't there. looking at that. Oh, you're <laughs> looking at my wonderful drill bit set. Yeah, that'll work. Can screw anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know one of the, one of them has a, is a grinder case. I don't know where... This one's a grinder case because there's a grinder. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on taking off the stock. And you can just work with the action. Maybe we should make this more safe. Where's the. Yeah. In a minute or so, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't do it with the camera like this, so I'll just let them go for it. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So basically, to disassemble this We're thing. We're not doing this for a few hours. It's dead. Oh, okay. Unless the other um, charged. There's a little pin back here, and you have to have your safety on. And you can push side. that in, and your a um, your trigger group will come out on the SKS. So I'm going to try and do that now behind the camera. I don't know how well it's going to work. Do you want me to get it? Uh, I don't know. There, go. oh. there goes the camera. Timber. Piece of shit tripod. Huh? Okay. So, with the trigger group. So it looks pretty simple. Um, yeah. It is simple. Did you already do your trigger spring? Thing? I never got my trigger springs in the middle Okay, so anyway, one thing we're not going to do is he's going to re replace the trigger spring. So, um, we'll have I did a polish trigger down fill. and grease the sear in here, though. Okay, so there is a few things that he did to it, but not much. Alright, this is the end of part one, I guess, and I'll see you guys in part two.